When they left the United Kingdom, they were hailed as the best chance against the Aussies for the last 20 years. They opened strongly, trouncing a green Papua New Guinea side. The game against Newcastle enhanced the tourist reputation. But the reputations came unstuck during Black Sunday against Northern Districts. Now you can make up your own mind. Because tonight, just three days before the first test, the Poms take on last year's premiers, Manly Warringah. Britain versus Manly Warringah. And your commentators, Tarrell East Lake, Jack Gibson, and Mick Cronin. Good evening and welcome to Manly's Brookvale Oval and it's never looked better. A chilly evening here at the seaside and an ideal night for football. Tonight's game is a curtain raiser for next Saturday's first test and a chance for you to make up your minds about the tourist rated as the best side to have left Britain for the last 20 years. With me as always, Jack Gibson. Jack, this side has not had a chance to run together as a one solid combination outfit. Well, the test sides sure haven't, but most test sides up to a point their first game haven't had that opportunity. But if anybody can do something here tonight, I think they'd get an inclusion in the test side because it hasn't been picked as far as Malcolm Riley's concerned. And if they show out, he'll consider them for sure. Mick Cronin, you've played in some divisional sides that have had success against uh, touring sides like the Great Britain outfit that went down to Northern Division Sunday. How important? I don't know whether that game's really important. I think some of their great sides had a history of being beaten by divisional sides like Newcastle and Southern Division. And while tonight might be a last chance for some players to impress, I think we'll see the best of Great Britain next Saturday. OK, comments from the boys. We'll be working with them right throughout the night. Sideline comments and interviews. Tim Sheridan, George Danikian. Kick off in just a few minutes. We'll take a break and be back for the Great Britain versus last year's premiers, the Manly Sea Eagles. Come the Manly side now, led by Noel Cleal. Of course, the shock of mission out of the Australian Test side of the New South Wales State of Origin side. The big fella leads him out tonight. This good crowd at Brookvale on the seaside, giving their favourite team plenty to cheer about too as they come out. Went to England last year to play witness. Were beaten there in somewhat controversial circumstances. But tonight, out for revenge when they take on Great Britain. Good crowd in attendance here at Brookvale. Here comes the Great Britain side now. Usual roar from Sydney. Let's run through the entire team card for you at fullback as Tim Dwyer, Stuart Davis and Greg Austin are on the wings. Joe Rapati, Darrell Williams, the Kiwi Connection Internationals in the centre tonight. Cliffy Lyons at 5'8". Jeff Tooby is the halfback. Des Hasler slotted into lock. Noel Cleal, second row and captain of the side. Mark Pocock, his partner. The front row is Mark Brock and Shire, Charlie Haggett and Ian Gately. The coach, of course, Bob Fulton. Great Britain side for you at fullback is Phil Ford. The wingers are Carl Gibson, Martin of Fire. We have Ian Wilkinson, Darren Wright are the centre three quarters. David Stevenson is the 5'8. David Holm is the halfback. Andy Platt, the captain of the side, he is at lock. Carl Fairbank, Paul Medley, both the second rowers in the front row. Roy Powell, Paul Hugh Waddell, their coach, Malcolm Rilling. 